Hello everyone, Miss Camila speaking to you. Today's video is going to be about quantifiers with countable and uncountable nouns. We're going to start with countable nouns. These are the characteristics of countable nouns. First, they can be counted. Two, they have singular and plural forms. And we use a, an, and one in the singular form, for example, a slice of cake, and we use some, any, and a few in the plural form. For example, I need a few bags of crisps. So basically, countable nouns are all the things that we can count. For example, dogs. I can say a dog or one dog, singular form, and two dogs, plural form. So what about uncountable nouns? We use them with objects that cannot be counted. They can only be used in singular form, not plurals. And we cannot use a, n, or any numbers to express quantity. And to do so, we're going to use words like some, any, much, little, a lot of. For example, bring me some water. We do not say bring me one water or bring me two waters. We say some. So. Uncountable nouns are used to describe food, like meat, sugar, cheese, butter, liquids, milk, water, coffee, materials like wool, gold, paper, glass, ideas or situations, natural phenomena, some concrete nouns such as baggage, furniture, money, luggage, traffic, and business. What does that mean? That means that we cannot say, I have uh, one baggage or two baggages or one furniture or two furnitures. What we do is that we group them into expressions. Same with liquids. We cannot say one milk, two milks. We can say one glass of milk, two glasses of milk. And those are the expressions that we're going to use related to food and liquids. We're going to go one by one. So the first one is a bar of. We could say a bar of chocolate, for example, because chocolate is an uncountable noun. Therefore, we cannot say one chocolate, two chocolates. That doesn't exist. So to talk about quantity of chocolate, we're going to use a bar of. That is going to be the measurement. Then, to talk about bread in Spanish, we use a lot that we say one bread, two breads, but that doesn't happen in English. So what we need to do is that we're going to talk about bread as a whole, and we're going to say a loaf of bread. A slice of. We could use this one to talk about pizza, cheese, or cake. For example, a slice of pizza, two slices of pizza, a slice of cheese, or a slice of cake. A packet of. A packet of cookies or a packet of rice, for example. A bunch of is used to talk about a number that is not specific. So I could say a bunch of grapes because I'm not really sure how many grapes are there or a bunch of bananas or a bunch of flowers. A box of, a box of tissues, a box of cereal and a box of matches. A jar of olives, a jar of jam, a jar of honey. A carton of milk, a carton of orange juice. A bottle of perfume or a bottle of water. A can of soda. A tin of tuna or a tin of soup can also be. A bag of peanuts or a bag of chips. More quantifiers. Here we have more expressions that we can use, such as a couple of, a dozen or half a dozen, a few, a number of. A couple means two. Half a dozen means six, six items. For example, if I have uh, six bottles of water, I can say half a dozen bottles of water. A dozen means 12. Two dozens means 24, and a few means a small number of. Pay attention to this. Notice that you say a dozen or half a dozen eggs. You don't say a dozen of 
or half a dozen of, okay? We don't add of before the object. And also that you say two dozen X, not two dozens X. The plural goes to the object, not to the quantifier. This is the source that we used to create this material. If you have any questions, please ask More Claudio or I so we can help you out. Thank you.